Hello, my name is Benoit Chavary, Product Manager at Belden. Today, we're going to talk about the Gigabix product line. Gigabix is a high-density cross-connect system, uh, category 6, can be managed with cut-to-length cross-connect wire or with patch cords. So let's begin with the uh, cross-connect wire layout. So this uh, layout is the most popular uh, Gigabix layout. That's the one that provides the highest density and it's also very easy to manage with just pieces of cross-connect wire. This is, this is a very dense jumper uh, wire that we're using. So the way we configure the system is you usually cross-connect from the top section to the bottom section. Let's say this is your user side and your equi equipment side. All your uh, switch ports are replicated on the equipment side. So uh, in this case, we're installed on a solid plywood wall. So you need the uh, cable dressing modules to run all the cables uh, behind the mounts. So cables can be coming in from the, all from the ceiling. So all user cables and equipment cables can come from the ceiling or from the floor, or they can come half and half. There's plenty of room in the back to run all these, uh, these cables. After you run those cables inside the cable dressing modules, then you install the mounts. So those are empty mounts, and these are uh, preloaded mounts with the connectors, and they can be purchased as is, as a kit, with all the connectors, the labeling strips, and everything else that's needed to terminate all the 72 cables included under one part number. Now you see the management rings. So management rings are used to create the vertical management channels. The same rings are used as well to create the horizontal channel when you have a, a large installation and need to run your cross-connect wires horizontally. In this case, you see that the management rings are installed on what we call the management ring spacer to give it uh, more uh, stability. So now I'm going to show you how we terminate the connector. So this is the connector that will eventually be in the first position. So we put it on the reverse. So we flip it back 180 degrees. We install it in the second position and we place all the, uh, the cables, okay, so in the, and, and follow the pair sequence, blue, white, blue, white, orange, white, green, white, brown. Uh, we need to use this uh, termination bar that will protect the performance, the CAT6 performance of your system. So we place all the, the cables. So now we're ready to take the tool so we make sure that the knife is on the bottom side to cut all the excess wire. So now that we have all the wires terminated and cut, we're ready to install the, the wire uh, or the pair protector. So we snap it over the connector and it protects and makes sure that all the, the wires will stay in place when we rotate the connector. So this connector is going into the first position. So you need to flip it around and then install it in the number one position. And then we're ready to start terminating the other ones. So as I mentioned before, this system is managed with uh, jumper wires or cross-connect wires as jumpers. Uh, so these are category six, four pair uh, cross-connect wires. So they terminate just like cables, okay? And the, like, the cross-connect wire on this connector runs up, runs through the fanning strips, so the same strip that that is holding the connectors, your cross-connect wire runs through it and then runs to, let's say, the equipment section of your cross-connect. The one at the bottom will run to the bottom of the connector through the fanning strip again and to the other section of your cross-connect. So this is the patch cord or Gigabix patch cord layout. Uh, it's using the same mount 
as the cross-connect wire layout, also using the same cable dressing module, but we'll need more room for uh, patch cord management as we're managing with you know, blade patch cords or gigabix patch cords that you know, have a bigger diameter than the cross-connect wire and also managing with patch cords involves some slack management, so we need some room to hide some of the slack. Um, so the layout, it can be managed the same way as the cross-connect wire, distribution, equipment, or you can also go with like distribution and equipment on, on, the, uh, on the side. So these are, again, the same mounts, I said, same cable dressing module, uh, the patch cord organizers is, is the big thing that's different, okay? So this is the cover. It comes separately, and you can manage all the patch cords using these patch cord organizers and the horizontal channel kit that snaps between the patch cord organizer to be able to create a horizontal channel to run your patch cords uh, to, uh, to, through your system. This here is the Gigabix MediaFlex adapter. So this is an adapter that takes up the room of two connectors, snaps in the same mount, right, as, as the Gigabix connectors, but you can use MediaFlex two port inserts, the flat ones or the angled ones, and you can snap anything that has a keystone footprint or an MDVO style footprint in a Gigabix environment. So it lets you snap the regular modular jacks, coax inserts, or again, any type of keystone modules. So for more detailed information on how to install the Gigabix system and to terminate the connectors, please visit Belden's website in the installation guide section. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for choosing Belden.